Camera? All right, in three, two, one, action. Hi, I'm Dan Jacobson, director of 1805. As any director will tell you, uh, you come to rely on your assistant directors. Kira, first person on set, last to leave every day, doing everything from the COVID checks to saving the movie when stuff I don't even know about. Yay. They're the ones doing the, the dirty work on the day of. The director is in their own cocoon of stress and glory. And meanwhile, it's the ADs, you know, uh, doing all the paperwork, you know, making sure everyone is getting to where they need to be on time and in the right uh, situation, you know, whether that's in the right uh, costume or, you know, making sure they have their microphone on or whatever it is. And on this movie, we were lucky to have a team of ADs. We had Kira and we had Nick. They did just such a wonderful job. Uh, this was a grueling shoot and we put so much on them and they were just so outstanding and you know we, we had a full team under them as well and uh, particularly among them uh, Cam Freshetta was, was absolutely amazing. Um, it, it was a joy to work with him. He's one of the first people to join the project and um, I think he might have spent more time on set in the end than anyone else did. So, um, yeah, he, just one of those people that really stepped up when, when we needed him to. Jerry, if you can't find a way where they're going to be able to walk shoulder deep, find a place where they can kind of kneel and already be in an embrace shoulder deep. Okay, keep in mind we're trying to can, modesty. Get your nipples under the water. You want to shovel to dig it out. That's what we're looking for, though. Like, see if, if it's not. Okay. Let me just see how close it is to that before I... Right there, get on your knees right there. Jerry, on your knees right there. You want to shoot back that way. I know. Katie, wait. Here it's too shallow though. There it's deeper, right? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely deeper. Right? All right, well, we got to... Well, they could be on their knees, couldn't they? Not there. Not there. Not if we want to maintain modesty. How about if you sit in the butt? Jerry and I go way back. He was the best friend of uh, my college roommate, Joe uh, Rowan. Jerry's a locksmith up in uh, Walpole, Massachusetts, uh, but now he's also a sound man. I knew just given his like natural intelligence, his emotional intelligence, it, he, he would be very, very good on set. He's a very artistic, creative person, and he's incredibly affable and charismatic. Um, but beyond that, he, he's very humble and very responsible. Um, and that's really what you need. Uh, I mean, he, he's familiar with basic recording from, from playing music uh, for years, so, you know, with, with, with the advancements in technology and, and the equipment we, we were able to, to purchase for him to use, uh, we tried to create a situation where, you know, he had sort of a soft landing to do a great job, and he, he did an amazing job. I, I don't know that a professional sound man would have done any better um, given the noise that existed on some of the locations we chose, and that was one of the reasons we decided to go with this route, was we, we picked some noisy locations, and, you know, I would make that same choice a thousand times again, especially knowing that uh, we got to spend that time with Jerry, and um, it, it's not uh, an exaggeration to say that we could not have made this film without him. I guess he, he rose all the way to associate producer. He was driving the actors to set every day, uh, and for me, he was he was a real shoulder that I could lean on as as probably my, my oldest personal friend on set. And um, with the stress that a director will put themselves under, uh, especially over a two week shoot like this, uh, having that close friend that I could rely on, uh, I did not know how much I was going to need that. And boy, well, am I glad that Jerry was there.
Three, two, one, action. Reset. Do it from the top. In three, two, one, action. I'm down. Three, two, one. For those of you action. who know how hard it was for me to get that hood off of my head, how many takes it took to get a hood off of my head, that was all, that was for you guys. That was for standing out in 90 degree weather while I learned how to take a hood off of my head. Thank you, the best, best cast, best crew ever to be so patient with me that day. Uh, 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 uh. It was all over the place. Three, two, one, action! Cut! Right, we'll get... That was oh, it. Okay.